For 37 years, Chicago Business Architectural Artifacts has been able to get a hold of some of the most unique and prized antiques from all around the world. The business will soon make a move out of Chicago. And here to talk about the treasures you can still get your hands on before it's too late, Architectural Artifacts founder Stuart Grannon. Stuart, thanks for being here. My pleasure. 37 years in Chicago, and you're moving to Round Top, Texas. Correct. Why are you leaving us for <laughs> some it's, random it's, Texas? It's, it's, well, it's, uh, I hate the cold. Uh, well, okay, I I'll give you that. Cold. I'll right. give you that. And Round Top, <laughs> Texas, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's sort of like the, the home of antiques in America these ah. days. Not that Chicago's not wonderful. Right. It's been a very good run, but I always am trying something new, so yeah. why not? Okay. I didn't know we had a home of architect or artifact artifacts, excuse me, in Texas. Yeah. Hey, I bought That's an old cool. I bought an old 1880s cowboy saloon and dance hall, a bunch of acres and a house. Oh. So I'm going to be making the gallery there as well as another big spot. Very Stuart, cool. Stuart, you so. just want to live out your cowboy dreams. <laughs> Why not? That's what's happening. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Well, listen. All right. So if uh, a lot of memories over the years, a lot of events, a lot of weddings that you know people have gone. Uh, this is an iconic institution for us here. I, it, it, I've been told as much. Yeah, yes. yeah. So yeah. people have a chance to actually come and own something before you leave sure. of, of, of your... So you've brought some things with you. What have you brought? Well, you know, an easy thing, and I always think these are the best deal going in architecture okay. and antiques. These, these tiles are 100, 150 years old. They were glued to a wall or a fireplace, and they've come off, and they're beautiful. Art Nouveau. Uh, these particular ones were made in England. I bought them in Argentina, and now they've come back to Chicago. So for 50, 65 bucks, you can buy a beautiful, old, cool thing. So I think these are these are just fun and great. And you Beautiful. travel all over the world finding pieces. That's the best part. I, I yeah. just got back from Italy yesterday. Mm. Uh, all that travel is a tax write-off, isn't it? Always. Oh, always. That's what we're doing and wrong. That's, that's part of Texas too. They they don't have a lot of taxes there. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It's all coming together <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. What is this gem? You know, this is one of my favorite little things. I actually I don't keep anything. I've kept this for myself. But it's it's a little candy dish uh -huh. by a guy from Buenos Aires, Argentina. His name was Jose Tenay, and in the 20s to about the 1950s, he was the greatest iron worker in the world. Oh, better wow. than the Germans, better than the Americans, wow. better than the French. And it's just it's some little mythical animal, kind of like a llama or something like that. Mm. But it's alpaca? Just a, we know oh, all about good. llamas and alpacas mm -hmm. here. Very good. <laughs> we didn't when we first started the show, but now we do. And we have a friend named Rainier who's one, and he might like this. Yeah. It's a cool thing. <laughs> I just liked it. It's, it's, it's just a fun thing. It I'm guessing cute. all the details and, and being able to curve the iron like that, that's not easy for, you know, when it was made. Oh, you know, Jose, he, like I said, he was the greatest iron worker in the world. Mm. It's just a simple thing, but he did embassies and churches and buildings all over the world. And so this is cool not for thing. sale. I'll sell anything. Okay, there we go. <laughs> She's like, 20 Truth, bucks, 20 down. Let's Truthfully, do this. Let's make anything. this deal. Yep. <laughs> you started, though, at a young age when you bought your first, was it a stained glass window? I bought a, my first stained glass window when I was seven years old. Unbelievable. Okay. So, and from that, your passion kind of grew. Yeah. Yeah, and got bigger things, heavier mm -hmm. things, more expensive yeah. things, more different lands and all that sort of stuff. So, wow. yeah. Like this guy. What is this? This is, uh, can I... Can I pick it up? Or sure. Mm -hmm. This is a cast iron wow. stair baluster from, we all know, Carson Perry Scott Building in Chicago. Yes. Yeah. Well, it used to be called the Schlesinger Meyer Building. Ooh. Okay. It 18... rolls off the tongue. It does. It does. <laughs> Carson's is much easier. And now it's Target or something. Uh -huh. Or it was. But anyway, this is a stair baluster from the building. And the great thing about this is uh, Chicago's best and most famous architect, Louis Sullivan, yeah. was oh, the designer wow. of this and the, and the building. How do so, you come across that? This, well, when the building got torn down, there were lots of people in it. And the guys, you know, maybe they were architects mm -hmm. or, I don't know, accountants or something yeah. in the building. They just said, hey, they usually traded the, like a case of beer for one of these or something to the construction guys. And then they ended up and they, you know, when they were on their deathbed, they sold it to me or wow. whatever. So, wow. So. All right. What's the reaction you've been getting from people about you closing up? I mean, I know that you have, you know, customers that have been coming to your shop for years. You know, it, it's, you know, I just thought I was a kooky guy with lots of, <laughs> lots of, lots of kooky stuff. But truthfully, over the last, we've announced maybe two or three weeks ago we were closing. And I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of emails and phone calls yeah. and stories that I don't remember, but all sorts of really pretty heartfelt stuff. 
and some of it was like, Jesus, stop. I don't know. You know, yeah. it was, I was like, I started crying and stuff. Aww. But I had no idea. I mean, it's just, I'm glad. I always thought Chicago was very good to me, mm -hmm. and architecture has been very good to me. Yeah. But I'm also glad now that, that, that the store and myself and the stuff has been good oh, to other right. people, well, too. Maybe pulling on those heartstrings can make you a snowbird. Maybe you'll come back a little bit <laughs> in the future. Maybe. I've always got something up my sleeve. There we go. So, All yeah, right. be, I'm sure stay you tuned. do. Bring stay my tuned. cowboy back to Chicago. <laughs> Real right. in. Thanks for joining us, Stuart. For more on his business, head to architecturalartifacts.com.